Fall of the year often is the time, of course, when spring calving operations will be weaning the calves. Also, at the time when we may be pulling off some of those older cows to be culled and, and sent to market. Understanding the pricing mechanism of culled cows I think is extremely important for any cow-calf operation. To know how to get the best value out of those cows that you market after they, they've weaned the calf. If you look at the USDA market news reports uh, reporting uh, the prices on culled cows, what you'll see is that the cows are basically graded into four different categories or four different grades. And that is primarily based on the fleshiness or fatness of the cows. The very fattest cows will be those that go into the breaker category. In our uh, body condition scoring system, those are cows that are in a body condition score 7, 8, and 9. The next group are those that's in the boning utility, often called boners. And those will be cows that will be a 5.5 to a 6 in our body condition scoring categories. Then we go down into the leans, and those are, are the thinner cows, generally cows that will be 3, 4, even to the lower part of a 5 body condition score and those will be the leans. Finally, you'll see a category called lights. Lights are cows that are nearly always very thin and in that light category because they generally weigh less than a thousand pounds at live weight. Those four categories really uh, begin to separate out the price that cows are going to bring. What you'll generally find are that the boning utility of the boner cows and the breakers will bring about the same price per pound. There's no real advantage for those real fat cows. The boning utility cows generally will bring a few more dollars per hundredweight or cents per pound than will the leans and certainly the lights. So if you're marketing cows, I think you want to keep this in mind that the cows that's going to bring the highest price per pound are going to be those that are in moderate to good flesh. Body condition score five and a half or a six. Certainly we don't want those cows to get real thin. They will bring a lower price per pound plus be lower in weight. If you have some cows that are coming out of the summer that are already a little bit too thin, you may want to consider a short feeding period where we put some condition back on those cows in say 45 to a maximum of 60 days when we can still do it pretty efficiently. In that way we can pick up some weight and some price per pound as well. Understanding this pricing mechanism of cull cows I think is really, really important so that you can get the most value out of those cows as you market them this or any year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.